Go ahead. All you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Michelle, and this is Caesar. Hi, guys. We're, we're live from Milano. We're both teachers at Milano Meravilli. If you are a student, well, there's no one here right now. So <laughs> how has your day been so far? It's been good. It's been good. It's been uh, busy. Had plenty of air time today. <laughs> mm. Looks like we've got you... one joining. Well, hello, our only viewer. You have all our attention. Yeah. So go oh, ahead. There we go. Now we got some more. Welcome, everyone. We're welcome, so happy. welcome, welcome. We're so happy you could join us here to learn more English. And uh, today we're talking about describing personality. Describing personality in this focus activity, present simple, describing personality and vocabulary. So let's begin with the present simple. What is the present simple? When do we use it? Um, Caesar, how would you describe the present simple? All right, so present simple. So I would say the word simple in English grammar, simple in English grammar means in general. So present simple is anything in general now. For example, um, I teach English. That would be the present simple because it's something I do in general. What is something you do in general, Caesar? Um, I live in Milan. Perfect. I live and work in Milan in general. Perfect. Guys, if you want to test out your present simple, um, write to us and let us know in the comments what you do in general. So remember, we will be using the present simple. Okay, descriptions of family. How many people are in your family? In my family, there are four people. Myself, my brother, my mother, and my father. There are four of us. So this is different from Italian, because in, in Italian, you would say, we are in four. But in English, we don't say that. That's wrong. We say, there are four of us. Or, how many people are there in your family, Caesar? Um, there are five of us. Five? And who are they? Well, actually, no. Now, in, in my family now, um, there are four of us. There is my wife, me, and our two fur babies. Fur babies. What is a fur baby? So fur is hair um, for an animal. So a fur baby can be a cat or a dog usually. But do you have a cat or a dog? We have two cats. Beautiful. <laughs> Next question. Do you live with your family? No, I don't live with my family. My family lives in another country. How about you? So, yeah, my family also lives in another country. My parents and my brother and sister live in a different country. They live in the States. And by States, you mean America, correct? Exactly. So normally, 
the short version, we just say the states because the United States of America is too long. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Remember to put the the before states. Right, so when you say America, you can just say America, but if you want to say the States or the United States, do not forget to put the article the. Absolutely. So there are some countries which use the article the. Mm. Um, an example would be the Netherlands, the Philippines, any other examples? The Bahamas. The Bahamas, the United Kingdom. Right? And what do these countries have in common? What they have in common is that they are a number of different territories which have been joined together. For example, in the Philippines, there are many islands. The United Kingdom is made up of several different individual countries, such as England, Wales. Would we call them countries or territories, Caesar? Um, that's a good question. I would say maybe more territories in, in, you know, in the case of the UK. In the mm -hmm. US, it's states, but in the UK, I think maybe different territories? I'm not sure. That's a good question. This is a regional difference, correct? Yeah, I think so. Definitely. So if you guys want to write to us and tell us how many people are in your family, write to us in the comments. Do you live with your family? Let us know. Next, do you often spend time with your family? Um, unfortunately, I don't spend time with my family because I live in another country. But I do call my mother, my father, my brother very often, at least four times a week. How about you, Caesar? So, um, yeah, I normally don't get to spend time with my family because they are very far away but i normally talk to them every once in a while not as often as italians do maybe italian families speak every day um in the united states american families normally if you do not live together um you talk every once in a while in my case i usually talk to them uh, maybe every few weeks maybe when something new happens right um well in my case i think it's more similar to italians because yeah. i talk to my mom every day yeah my definitely she calls every day and she does get a little upset a little anxious if i don't call her every day yeah <laughs> but that's nice i think that's really nice you know i mean being able to talk so often like that but at the same time you know it can also be you know you know if you're really really busy it can be hard to do true sometimes my mother asks me uh what's new but there is nothing new because i talk to her every day <laughs> yeah exactly i can imagine I've heard from a lot of Italian friends and, you know, that, that is very common. That's a common struggle. Julia says, you are such a lucky guy. I think yeah, she's right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so when you spend time with your family, what do you usually do with them? Mm, good question. So, um, I mean, now it's a little bit different because I live so far away. But before, um, we would normally either talk or we would go out together. We would maybe play games or play sports or just go out um, for a drive or 
to go somewhere. How about you? What do you normally do with your family? Well, generally, um, together, our favorite hobby is to eat. Uh (laughs) (laughs) So we love eating in my country. So we very similar to Italian culture. Very similar indeed. Um, there's a strong emphasis on the family unit. Yeah. So we love eating together. But I do individual activities with different members of my family. For example, with my mom, I usually go shopping. With my brother, I usually watch um, some Marvel superhero movies. Oh, of course. <laughs> boys and will be boys. Boys will be boys. <laughs> and with my dad, I usually drink. Which ah, then, yeah. <laughs> Again, boys will be boys. <laughs> boys will be boys. But as the eldest uh, girl in the family, I've had to pick up some, some traits. Uh, some quality, yeah. some skills that are usually um, dedicated to boys. Yeah. What do you guys do with your family? Okay, here we have a list of fantastic vocab. Let's just go through them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Okay, mother. Um, So I'm just going to go through them and tell you what each person is. The mother is the female parent. The father is the male parent. The sister is the female child, but um, it's the female child and the other child who could be a male or a female would call the female child a sister. The parent would not call the female child a sister. Then we have brother, the male child. Um, Again, it is what the second or the third child would call their sibling. Now let's look at the word sibling. The word sibling is gender neutral, which means it could mean either brother or sister. You could use the plural and say siblings to include brothers and sisters or sisters. And what is gender neutral? Gender neutral, good question. Gender neutral is when something hasn't been assigned a sex. So when it is unisex, not male or female, suitable for both. Okay, so I can be a sibling and you can also be a sibling. Absolutely, but I would be a sister to my brother and you would be a brother to your sister. Perfect. Um, How many siblings do you have again? I have one younger brother. Okay. How many siblings do you have? So in total, I have four siblings, but I grew up with my brother and my sister from my mom's side because I lived with my mom. Are they older than you or younger? No, I am the oldest. That's tough. Yeah. (laughs) The rules are different for the younger siblings. Yeah, exactly. It's easier for them. Definitely. Next, we have aunt, and we have <laughs> Thanks, <uncle>. Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> Next up, we have aunt and uncle. So aunt is the female who is your mother's sister or your father's sister, or the wife. This is a little complicated. The uh, wife yeah, that's of true. your mother's brother. So that's aunt. Next up, uncle. Uncle is either your mother's brother or your father's brother. But it can all he can also be the husband of your mother's sister or the husband 
of your father's sister. Exactly. Okay, don't forget aunt is female and uncle is male. Next up, we have grandmother. So your grandmother is your mother's mother or your father's mother. After that, we have grandfather. The grandfather is your father's father or your mother's father. So remember, grandfather is male, grandmother is female. And together, we call them grandparents. Any questions, please write to us, let us know. Next up, we have son. Son is the male child. And after that, we have daughter. <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. Well, Bobby is my super... I love dogs, Bobby. <laughs> Next up, we have the word daughter. Daughter is the female child. For example, I am my mother's daughter and Caesar is his mother's son. Exactly. But let's talk about the word daughter. Caesar, how do we pronounce daughter? Yeah, so daughter, we pronounce daughter. So no U, no G, no H. So it's just da ter, as we've written here. So we have the spelling and we have the pronunciation in the slash, between the slashes. Okay, physical descriptions. Can you describe yourself? Let's go through these. Height. Tall. Tall is someone who's long. Um, I think. Uh, but how do you pronounce that word? Tall. Uh, sorry. Um, the the one with the H. Height. Height. Ah, uh, okay. So here we have some silent letters, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so in English, G H normally silent. So height, the G and the H are silent, height. Remember guys, I know you don't have um, the H in Italian, the way you use it. So remember to hit that H, height. Okay, now let's talk about the adjectives for height. First up, we have tall. What would we, who would we describe as tall? Someone who's about 170 would be tall, 180 would be considered tall, right? Um, 180 centimeters. Okay, what about short? Tall like a giraffe, absolutely. Yeah. Good one, Caesar. Giraffes are tall, short. Who would you describe as short? A panda. Yeah. Are tall. Medium height. Medium height is average. Someone yeah. who is not tall and not short, like most of us. Most of us are medium height. Okay, next we have body shape. Fat is someone who is, um, I don't like the word fat because I feel it's a bit rude, but it's yeah. important to know. So let's discuss it, but please don't call anyone fat. It's really rude. Yeah. Fat is when someone is bigger than they should be. They're large. Someone who has a lot of fat on them, slim 
is someone who is not fat and not thin. They're average. And thin is someone who um, doesn't have any meat on their bones. Yeah. Someone Normally who, in the US, we call them skinny. Skinny, good one. Skinny. I think we should add another body shape to this, which is fit. Yes, absolutely. Right. Or we can also say athletic. Fantastic, athletic. So um, a fit or athletic individual is someone who, do, uh, who plays a lot of sports. So their body is naturally toned from working out either at the gym or playing football or rock climbing or hiking. They would be fit or athletic. Exactly. Next and up. then we have Arnold Schwarzenegger. True, true. Ooh. He is buff. He is buff. Yeah. Very, very, very muscular. <laughs> okay, hairstyle. So long. Someone whose hair reaches past their shoulders would have long hair. Short is someone is Caesar actually. Caesar has short hair. It doesn't reach beyond his ears. Curly. I have curly hair. Hair that goes like this. Straight hair. Straight hair is hair without these ringlets. It's absolutely pin straight, polka straight. Yeah. It like is the opposite. In Japan. In Japan, it's true. Um, people of Oriental descent usually have straight hair. It is the opposite of curly. Eye color, brown. I have brown eyes. Oh, sorry, hair color, <laughs> brown. I have brown hair. <laughs> blonde. Blonde is what you would call in Italian light. So someone with yellow hair would be blonde. Black, again, people of Oriental descent, like people in China and Japan, have black hair. It's very dark. I don't have black hair. I have brown hair. Caesar has brown hair. Next up, we have red. We all know what a red head looks like. <laughs> and then we have gray. Gray is the color your hair turns when you start becoming older. Unfortunately, I have no gray <laughs> hair. Oh no. <laughs> that is the of my life. <laughs> it's a sign of wisdom. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, we can Next say gray time. or gray like this in the US, the same. Sign of wisdom. Next up, we have eyes. Eyes are brown, like mine, green, or blue. Remember, blue. Just like in Italian, we don't pronounce the E. Okay, now that we have a solid understanding of all these adjectives, let's start using them. Can you describe your family, Caesar? Pick a family member and describe mm. them. Okay, so my sister, is called Dania. She is short, like me, but she is shorter than me. Mm. She is slim. She has. Uh, mm, she has medium length, so not long, but not short hair. She has medium length, curly, brown hair. So something like mine. Yeah. Medium length, curly, brown. Exactly. But I think hers might be a little bit curlier. Curlier, nice. Yeah. So it's a little bit curlier than yours. 
And she has brown eyes. Fantastic. What about a member um, from your family? Hmm, okay, um, I'll talk about my brother. He is slim. Okay. He is very slim and quite tall. Okay. He is taller than me. Yeah. Um, he is six three. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Skipped me. Yeah. <laughs> the height gene skipped me. Yeah. I, I hear he you. Is, <laughs> he is six three. He's um slim. His hairstyle is always short. Um, he has curly hair. Yeah. So he needs to keep it short for it to look neat. Yeah. Because he's a boy, unfortunately. Like my brother. Exactly. His hair is uh, brown, and his eyes are also brown. Okay, guys, write to us and let's describe your family. Write to us in the comments. We're here. We're excited to, to hear what you have to say. Okay, how would we describe this lovely lady? Mm -hmm. So I would say that she has, well, I can't see if she's tall or if she's slim or thin, but she looks, um, she looks tall. Mm hmm and slim. And her hair, I think her hair, we could describe her hair as straight, long, yeah. and brown. Yeah, definitely. And I think she has maybe brown eyes or green eyes. I can't- We can't really tell. Yeah. Okay, let's see what's the blue eyes. So she says, I am medium height and slim. I have long, straight brown hair and blue eyes. Okay, so this is written in the present simple. I am medium height and slim. So she is medium and she's not too fat, not too thin. She has long, straight brown hair and blue eyes. Please notice that between long and straight, we put a comma. Mm, yes. That and is do we need to put and there? Long and straight brown hair? No. We put and between hair and eyes. Ah, uh, so for two different objects. Absolutely. When you have more than two objects, you put the and in between the nouns, the two objects. Okay. Next up, we have this lovely gentleman. <laughs> How would you describe him, Caesar? Mm. So I think he looks tall and slim or mm -hmm. fit. He has curly blonde hair, I believe, or is it brown? Hmm. Well, mm. this color would be strawberry brown, right? Yeah, so he has like light brown hair. So strawberry black blonde hair is hair which is blonde and brown. You call it strawberry? Mm hmm Strawberry blonde, yeah. uh, blonde. What do you guys call it? Uh, we call it dirty blonde. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's another regional difference. We call yeah. it strawberry bl blonde. And in America, they call it dirty blonde. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, let's see what they say. My brother isn't very tall. He's slim. He has short, curly brown hair and 
brown eyes. What are you like? So just let's spend five minutes discussing this. What are you like? What does that mean? So whenever you have a question like this, what are you like? Mm. It's, a, it's asking for a description. Mm. Okay? Whereas, what do you like asks you what your preference is. Mm. Okay? So remember the verb are and the verb do. What are you like and what do you like? They're two different things. Another way to another way to um, ask the same question: What is Milan like? Or right? What and is the weather like? Perfect. There we go. We're asking for descriptions. Remember that. What do you like? What does he like? What does she like? What do they like? Is about preference. So remember the verb do. Okay. Can you describe yourself? How would you describe yourself, Caesar? Mm. Oh gosh. Um, <coughs> so I would describe myself as so I am short. I am not fat and I'm not skinny, so I'm slim. Okay. I'm, um, yeah, I have brown, I have wavy brown hair. Oh, that's a good word, wavy. What does wavy mean? So wavy is like a mix of curly and straight. So it's in the middle. Right. So your hair is not straight like the Chinese or the Japanese, but it's not yeah. curly like mine either. Exactly. It's like the ocean. The ocean. Wavy. In fact, in English, the waves are what we see in the ocean. Mm. We like to surf. And yeah, and I have brown eyes. Okay, how, how would I describe? You? Um, I am average height. I have curly brown hair. Um, my hair is medium. It's not very long. It's not very short. Medium length. I um, I wear glasses or spectacles. Oh yeah. <laughs> I wear glasses or spectacles. I have brown eyes. And um, I think that's it. Perfect. Fantastic. And we've okay, got so a comment here from Julia. She says, are you sure you are slim? I mean, I can't see you in person, but it looks like you have a little bit of a belly there. Was it Italian food? Absolutely. Italian food is to blame. I completely agree. Um, the first year I moved to Italy, yeah. I put on 10 kgs. When I went oh back God. home, my <laughs> mother was like, what happened? And all I could say was Italian food. It's so good. Exactly. That's the same thing that happened to me. 10 kilos in... in I think two weeks in Sicily. <laughs> Sicily is a whole other story. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so if you are one meter, 90 centimeters, how would you okay. describe yourself? A hundred. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> right, I don't do centimeters either. We need oh, a... okay, so we need help from you guys in the audience. One meter and 90 centimeters. Is that tall? Is that short? We don't know. Because we know um, feet. Exactly. Right. We use feet and inches. I 
I think that would be tall. Yeah, you think that, so? I think so. I think it's about six feet. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. I yeah. think so. I'm not very good at the conversion. But yeah, because yeah, so each meter I'm, is three feet. Mm -hmm. So I am one meter, 90 centimeters. I am tall, supermodel tall. Oh, man. <laughs> That would be the dream. Basketball player tall. My grandmother is 95 years old. She is. Is she young? Is she old? Is she middle aged? Mm, exactly. What, Caesar, how would you describe someone who is middle aged? Hmm. So middle aged, I believe, is around 40 years old. Right, so you're in the middle of yeah. your lifespan. So maybe 40, oh. 50, uh, even 60, maybe, I don't know. Would you consider With that science? middle aged? Um, I guess the science these yeah. days you could yeah you could technically could but i don't think i would consider 60. i think up to uh up to 60 would be middle-aged and above 60 i would consider as um older mm, i don't yeah. want to say old because um i know people who are 60 and they're very active they're they go to their jobs they play sports so absolutely um, 60 is the new 40. Exactly. <laughs> My brother is 90 kilos. He is fat, chubby, or slim. Oh, we have a new word here, chubby. Ooh, chubby, what is that? Chubby is someone who is a little, a little fat, but not very fat. Mm, okay, so in the middle. In the middle of fat and slim, you okay. have chubby. Fat, chubby, slim. Perfect. So, um, if someone is 90 kilos, how would you describe him? Fat, chubby, or slim? I think 90 is a lot, right? I think it depends on, on how tall he is. True, true. Yeah. I would For say example, chubby. yeah, chubby. Mhm. Mm yeah. Okay. What do you think? I I have no idea. I'm very bad at kilos. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys use kilos? Where you're from? We do. Ah, uh, you do. Okay. Yeah. No, in the we United do. States we use pounds. So, but I think it's pounds. um yeah it's basically. You know, one kilo is half a pound, I think. So two kilos, one pound. Or... I think it's 2.25. Ah, okay, there you go. <laughs> okay, my dog is a chihuahua. Is it small, medium, <laughs> or large? It is gigantic. Oh, that's a good word, gigantic. Gigantic is a great synonym for large. It means very large. So if you want to improve your vocab, um, gigantic is a great option. So chihuahuas are the super tiny dogs, which kind of look like um, rats, furry rats. <laughs> yes. True, they're adorable, but they do look like furry rats. Yeah. And they are tiny. Mm. Right? So Absolutely. they're not just small, because a small dog could be a terrier. Mm, right? Yeah. A jack. A jack terrier, a jack Russell would be small. Tiny poodle, is maybe. very small. Sorry? A poodle. A poodle, absolutely. 
Okay, now we move on to comparative. Yeah. Oh, and just we one use... quick thing. How do you pronounce that word again? Very small? Tiny. Ah, okay. So not teeny, but tiny. Tiny. Okay, cool. Thank you. Fantastic. Remember, guys, tiny. Okay, next we have comparative. Um, we've actually used a lot of comparative in this lesson. So let's figure out how to use them correctly. I am 26 years old. My sister is 21 years old. She is younger than me. So the word here is younger. So what does younger mean, Caesar? Mm. So younger means that I am older. So it's a comparison. So I am more young than, or sorry, she is more young than me. She is younger than me. Fantastic. And when do we use comparative? Mm. So I think comparatives we use when we have two objects, when we mm -hmm. compare only two objects. Okay, fantastic. So remember guys, only two objects or two people. My brother is one meter, 90 centimeters. I am one meter. 60 centimeters. He is bloop than me. So we need to fill in a comparative. Um, why don't you guys write to us and tell us what you think the answer is? In the comments. Remember, young, younger, therefore, tall will be. And if you get taller, you're absolutely correct. Taller. Next, my brother is 90 kilos. I am 80 kilos. He is bloop than me. So young, younger, tall, taller, fat. What do you think, Caesar? He is fatter than me. He is fatter than me. Exactly. Again, guys, try not to use this in your daily interactions. Exactly. Poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Caesar, do you want to take this one? Okay. So my dog is a chihuahua. My aunt's dog is a bulldog. Her dog is mm, than mine. So we had young, younger, tall, taller, fat, fatter. So large. That's right. Large, larger. Great. Large, larger. So it's pretty simple, right? Don't forget that after the comparative, you need to use the word than. Yes. Right? So younger than, and then the object you are comparing it against, which is yourself. So me. He is taller than me. Don't forget that. If we were to compare to other things, for example, um, English and Italian. Hmm. So. English is easier than Italian. Absolutely. <laughs> right? Easy, easier than subject, Italian. The object you were comparing it against. Make comparisons using these adjectives. So we're going to make these comparisons, but if you guys want to send us um, something to check, go for it. Exactly. Okay, so these are short. 
how would you sure. compare short? I am shorter than um, many people. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Young? So what can we do for young? Um, mm -hmm. You are younger than most of the teachers. Mm, yes, exactly. Small. Mm. My house in Italy is smaller than my house in Pakistan. Julia says, would you say you are shorter than the average Italian? <laughs> I'm shorter than the average anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. I am short, period. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about big, Caesar? All right, big. I wish... I was bigger. <laughs> I wish I was taller. Sorry. You wish you were taller? Yeah. So um, my house in the States was bigger than my house here. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's a severe shortage of space in Milan. Exactly. But Milan is bigger than my town in the United States. Is it? How many people? Oh gosh, I think it was like 30,000, maybe? Okay, that's less huge. Yeah, I think so, something like that. Maybe, maybe less, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, let's talk about describing characters. Just, um, first we have talkative. A talkative person is someone who talks a lot, like mm. Caesar and myself. We <laughs> love talking. Hey, speak for yourself. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, in school, they would always say I'm very talkative and I need to zip it. Absolutely. Zip it. Great expression. So zip is the sound that, you know, this is a zipping sound. But in English, when we say zip it, it means whoop, zip your mouth, close your mouth. So be quiet. Zip it. Next, we have hardworking, someone who works a lot, um, polite, someone who is, um, in Italian, you would say educated, but it's a little different in English. In English, polite is someone who is well mannered. So Honest. For example, please. Um, thank you. Excuse me. May I? Exactly. Honest. We all know <laughs> who someone, uh, what honesty is. Next up, serious. A serious person is someone who doesn't laugh a lot. That Caesar right there being serious. A shy person is someone who doesn't like to um, who doesn't <laughs> like to talk a lot, who feels a little uncomfortable with um, people. That Caesar's mime of shy, perfect. Okay, what about outgoing? Someone who's very talkative, loves meeting people, loves talking to people, is outgoing. Dishonest is the opposite of honest. Funny is someone who is very entertaining, makes you laugh. <laughs> Quiet, someone who doesn't talk a lot. Rude is someone who's disrespectful. <laughs> and lazy is someone who doesn't like to do any work. So let's quickly match this up. The opposite of talkative is Quiet. The opposite of hardworking is lazy. Someone who works a lot. Someone who doesn't like to work. Polite. 
rude, honest, dishonest, serious, funny, and shy, and outgoing. Absolutely. Okay. With that, we are done uh, with our allotted time, unfortunately. Thank you for joining us. And if you have any questions, again, please feel free to write to us. And we'll get back to you whenever we can. Um, Caesar, any final words? Yeah. Thank you so much, guys, for coming. Uh, we hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Have a great day, everyone.